right, great stuff, guys. Well, how about the Utes? They did what you would have expected them to do against an FCS opponent. They dominated. The national polls found favor with the Utes win against Idaho State, bumping them up one spot in the rankings to 10th and 11th in the AP and coaches polls. The pass game was near perfect. Moss was a machine on the ground and the D pitched a shutout. Here's how it all happened. Good afternoon and welcome into beautiful Rice Eccles Stadium on a sunny Saturday. On back, Bunsen down on the tackle at the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, up the far sideline and out of bounds he goes in Bengal territory. Van Lennon with the hold, the kick is away, it's high, it's end over end and it is good. There you go, Jaden Reddick for Utah. Zach Schlitz, the man missing the backfield. He's got open field, 35-30, 25-20. He's to the 10, he's to the 5, and... Out of bounds at the one-yard line. I was waiting for the call from the referee. This is Mahomes. And that's unfair. Touchdown, you. Pressure breaks through, and he takes a seat. Set. Huntley, play action, straight back, looking down the field, throwing down the field. He's got Dixon out there. It's caught! 20, 10, 5, touchdown! That's Brian Thompson! On the ground. Not much doing right side. This will go for a loss. Francis Bernard with help from Devin Lloyd. A play fake and a clean platform. Look at that. Down in plus territory, they get it in the hands of Covey. And he carries tackles inside the 30. First down, Brittany Covey. Wilmore takes the handoff. And there's a burst on first and 15 for Wilmore. As Hunter takes another swing. Idaho State Bengals by a final score of 31 to nothing and it's a great day to be a Ute here in Salt Lake City.